Hey guys, Brother Jagged here. About to do a service um, for you guys. Selected. Screen recording. Airdrop. Before switch I button. Do anything, though, Messages. To... Audio underscore 1000. Play. Button. Speech off. There's a few announcements that I must make. So yeah. Let's get it. Hey guys. Welcome to the evening service. Um, Michael's gonna preach it tonight. So, after I do the announcements, it'll be him. But, same announcements as this morning. Um, I forgot Operation Saturation this morning. Um, we'll go over some more about that. Operation Saturation. Sorry. I accidentally unpaused something that didn't need to be unpaused. Um, but Operation Saturation will be on... Saturday, um, December 21st, I'm thinking, because we have my church's operation saturation on the 14th, so we could probably actually do it after that, um, and like I said, the way it'll work is I'll go into group chats that we are all in together besides this one. And grab contacts. Grab about nine contacts. Maybe more. Probably more now that we have more people. Um, and I will give you each a contact. I'll give you each three to five contacts. That you don't have in your phone. And hopefully they don't have you either. But if they do, that's okay. I will create a Google Doc that'll have a John and Romans and a thing with our service times and all that. And then it'll have my gospel track. And that'll be it. That'll be the whole thing. Okay. Um, Christmas meeting will be maybe the whole week. And the whole next week, the whole New Year's week and the whole Christmas week. For sure the whole Christmas week from Sunday till Saturday. Um, and we'll see who all we can get preaching on that. But we're definitely going to have some fun on that one. And then... Um, so that'll all be over FaceTime. And then that'll be... That'll be it. Okay, um, and then we'll talk more about the summertime and springtime meetings later when we actually can, all right? So there's the announcements, and with that, I'll turn it over to Michael. Thank you for that, and um, if you could start turning over to, with me to... Romans chapter 10. Verse 13. I'm going to be dealing with salvation. Romans chapter 10 verse 13. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I actually do want to go back though because I felt the Lord dealing with me on verses 9 and 10 as well. That if thou shalt confess with thy, thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. And I want to use for... 
our subject today. True repentance. So as we're looking into the books of the chapters and verses that I mentioned, um, I just want everyone to know that salvation is the most important thing in Christianity. I mean, really important. It's like important. Like, everybody who knows the word and who has preached it knows that we are here today for a purpose. God has given us a purpose. He has given us a plan. And his plan is not only for us to accept him into our heart, but to keep him and for him to move in our hearts the plan of God and give us the plan of God. So when we look at these verses, I'm hoping that today you guys will take this into your heart. And if there's anybody that's in your family that that is not a Christian, I'm asking you to pray for them. Pray for the people. Pray for whoever is in the family. Pray for our country. Because our country needs true repentance as well. And so I believe that God has given me these three verses as well. Because I believe we have everything that the Bible wants for us to need to have, I should say. We have all of this because of God. Because of God's mercy. Because of His... Because of His ways. And I want to thank um, Brother Ross for giving the announcements today. If we could just have a quick word of prayer before we do continue. Father, as we come before you right now, we thank you for the words that you have given to us. Lord, I would ask that the words that I speak would take be taken to the heart and life of the people. And that, Lord, those who need you that you would send your spirit to guide them into the truth and I ask it in the mighty name of Jesus Amen so we look, let's, look, let's look deeply into all three verses real quick that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thy heart that God has raised him from the dead that I shall be saved. In other words, if you if you believe that he has died for you, then you will be saved. Verse ten for with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Now, I want to I'm gonna talk right now. This is the, oh, let's read the passage real quick, the 13th verse. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. In other words, if you ask the Lord to save your soul, he will. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And so I would like to go to the Lord in prayer today that you guys would know the Lord, if you guys do. But I want to pray for those of you who have families that do not know the Lord. So let's go into the, let's go into the time of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for your word. Lord, please take this word to the hearts of the people. Let them know that they are your child. 
help them to understand what I've spoken. And Lord, I would ask that you would help them to not only believe and understand, but to accept you for who you really are. I'm asking that the families of those people, if they're not saved, that they would come to you. And I ask in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you guys for listening. Speech on. Third screen recording.